Hi folks, what we're doing this morning is um, just trying to illustrate one of the age-old practices of feeding tree hay to animals. Not hay, tree hay. And this was a practice which was done all over Europe and it's still done right over as far as Nepal where you cut trees, uh, deciduous trees in the summer, at just like you would hay and you trap all the minerals and nutrients, just the same as hay, in the leaves and then you store it. You dry it and you store it and then whenever you're ready in the winter you feed it with, to your animals. What I've got in my hand here actually is a tree called a wild service and just watch what happens. I really love it. I really, really love it. Alm and ash. They were the key species, but the more we the more we do we look into this, the more we realise that uh, people with animals people with animals actually fed them what they had. It's very, very interesting. Everything was, everything was used in the countryside to feed animals and, and still, it's still practiced in some of the poorer and more mountainous regions in, in Europe. And look at this go now, look at them on this, uh, look at them on this elm. They're absolutely silly for it. Absolutely silly. You wouldn't believe it, would you? It's almost as if they were starving. Now, if that's not an advert for tree hay, I don't know what is. You can't beat that. What we've got here is a mixture of steers and heifers, so they're a lot younger than the ones we've just fed. And we're going to try them on ash, which I think I said before is that the other key species are for tree fodder. And what's interesting for me is this was cut last July. So it's what, eight months old? And look, it's still green and it's still got a lovely smell. So just watch this. I know what's going to happen. It's party time. 